coming up on Love Locks. It wouldn't be fair if I just got dirt on you guys. I got dirt on the ladies as well. Ooh. The vibe and the connection that we have here already is like unmatched. Get out, get out, get out. We need to talk to her. Don't Okay, roommates, today our matchmakers will continue to challenge the remaining singles to try to find their perfect matches. And so our private investigator, Dorian Bond, dug up the dirt on these singles. After each challenge, they'll be forced to eliminate one person whose secret is a deal breaker. Damn. Ultimately, sending them and their match home. No way. Last week, we saw Major and Io go home. Someone here has friends with benefits that won't cut it off for any Messy. relationship. That's non-negotiable. I guess friends with benefits won't fly in this house. Pull up a chair and sit back, roommates. This is Love Locked. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Let's start with last night. Yeah, last night, I just didn't see that coming. We hope that you guys continue this journey out outside of the house. Yeah, let's get rid of those friends first. Y'all think you last night? Last night was messy. Last night was crazy. I ain't even gonna lie, you know, uh, it threw me for a loop personally. Ayo, that's my boy, you know, that's like, that's somebody I really connected with, you know, on and off camera. And as far as Major, I didn't even get a chance to connect with Major, but her vibe was cool. So it really threw me for a loop. So not only did he go home, but she go home. Like, they gave you the boo. Like, you're out of here. So I know everyone went on dates yesterday. Who do you think, if you were to switch it up, you would go on a date with today? I want to go on a date with Naeem. Really? Yeah, just want to put that out there. Okay. okay. All right. It's just getting crazy right now, but I'm feeling a couple girls. Tokyo, like I said, I'm feeling her personality. <laughs> I see other females in here that I might, you know, want to poli um, politic with too. I think you should. Yeah. See, but see yeah. how respectful that I like that the was. honesty. That's yeah. how it needed to be yesterday. We understand that, like, you know, women want to be court. There's a difference That's between being courted and being ch and chased, right? Like. As a man, I'll take the initiative to go to the 50-yard line first. Mm. And if I really like you and I'm interested in you, I'll wait for you. You could be on the 10, you 15, go. Hey. I'm gonna wait. Hey. No, that's but until you bring your ass in all the way over here to meet me at the 50-yard line, we ain't, we ain't doing it. Because I can't see that you're not even willing to give me half of you for us to make a union. Uh -huh. So that's being an emotional leader, taking the initiative to go to that yard line first. So last night was obviously interesting because we had to send Ayo and Major home. Every day, one couple will be eliminated until we get to the end of the process where we have one couple left standing. Today, <laughs> you all will be going on double dates. Woo! So you're gonna be doing painting where you're painting how you feel about your dates and we want you to focus on the attributes of your ideal match or ideal partner. But before we get started on that, we're gonna give the ladies some time to relax and hang out by the pool. And then fellas, we're gonna give you some time to hit the gym and get a quick workout. <laughs> Y'all work this one out. These men, look at all this melanin in the gym. Oh, they fine roommates. So what's the game plan for today, fellas? Find love. Yes. <laughs> what I'm saying is, like, all the muscles on Naive, like, it just makes me feel like he's not packing down there. Like, she's a hater, not not. Kelsey is jealous of moi. Kelsey is soft. I'm like, oh, bae. Like, she's like bland chicken, and I'm just like barbecue chicken, you know. <laughs> She trying to make it seem like I'm a hater, boo. Ain't nobody hating on you. And this is the last time you're going to call me chicken, honey, because this is well seasoned. I'm loving this bitch. Oh, Y'all think I'm kidding around. Like, she seriously like I love it. Ain't nobody saying that. All right, all right, all right. Everybody, everybody. If I wanted to be a savage, I could be a savage. But you know what? Go off, sis. Go off. Anyone here scared of the possibilities of elimination? Definitely if I get eliminated, it's because one of the fellows. Yeah. yeah. To me, it was just surprising that, like, again, you never know who you might be tied yeah, to in this competition. Right. And then elimination. Crazy. I'm not necessarily nervous about elimination, but I'm definitely nervous about not finding my match. And my line is, y'all know who you're going to be with until the matchmakers curve you who you're going to be. It is what it is. Get out of here. Game. 
I said, at the end of the day, the matchmakers didn't match us with who they think that we are tied to or we are connected to. Yeah. So I feel like right now, everything is still kind of open. The vibe and the connection that we have here already is like, it's yeah. unmatched. I mean, I have, I, a, I actually to... have a confession to make here. I actually told her off camera this um, yesterday, but that I have, I have daughters, right? I told mm -hmm. you that yesterday, right? I did? Yeah, so I, I told her that, oh. yeah. Wow. Okay. Wait, you really have two daughters? Yeah, man. Oh, okay. Wow. How old are they? Uh, 10 and 3. I think um, it's something to think about. Is that a, is that a, you consider it to be a deal breaker? I think I could get with, like, you know, one kid. I just didn't like how he was, I felt like he was kind of hiding it, but then in the confession, he's like, I'm a proud father. I take pride, so in, being, I take pride in being a dad. Period. Get that on camera. Ugh. Wow. If they say me and Jamie in the match, it's all good. I mean, we haven't invested in each other to that point yet. What's going on? What's going on, bro? Most of you guys can probably tell already, this is not your average workout session. All right, so this is Dorian Bond. What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, it wouldn't be fair if I just got dirt on you guys. I got dirt on the ladies as well. So in this room, you see these five boxes right here. Five different secrets on each of the women. I got clues right here. These clues are going to lead you to a key in this room somewhere. You guys are allowed to search collectively for that key. Whoever has that clue is the person allowed to open the box, read the clue, and put it away. Good luck, guys. Good luck. Bingo. And door the box. Oh. Things are heating up. Whoever is responsible for the deal breaker will be going home tonight and taking their match with them. The only thing I can really come to determination is based on everybody's response, these women might not be who we thought they were. I go to sleep every time. Oh, I think about other things. What's going on? I'm trying to get a little something for this date. Okay. Okay. A little something, a little bit. Okay. So how y'all getting along with the other ladies? How's everything going with you? How you getting along with everybody? Getting along pretty well with some women. All of us girls think that Naeem is really attractive. Like, in my opinion, I feel like he was definitely, like, top, top two. However, we were discussing. So you have kids? Yeah, I do. Oh, really? Oh. I did tell them that it's a difference between privacy and secrecy. I don't know if you actually meant it right. in right. a I secret said, way. Right, I was like, what if you trying to protect them? Yeah. yeah. But I feel like, you know, this is a conversation you two should have, so I'm out of here. Oh, okay. <laughs> and I don't oh. I don't care what the hell you're proving. You know, we, me and him had a really good connection the very first day. I feel like you're so far away. Come a little closer. Come a little closer. Oh, I don't Close bite the gap unless a you bit. want me to bite. Unless yeah. I want you to. Yeah. I just like to take things slow. Like, okay. I'm a kind of guy, I just like the. And I hope you I'm know like that water. about me. I'm like water. I'm an air sign, so I'm like water. You see how this water And I'm an air just, sign, too. What's up? It's just flowing. You know that uh, feeling? That's, that's, that's just how I feel right now. Like, it was such a strange interaction. We still need to just give things a little bit more time, man. Who knows? Right there with you. We might get that one-on-one -on -one date that, that we 50 -50. doing. 50-50. 50 50 But we here. Yeah, but we here. <laughs> Lock it in. Lock it in. Yeah. Right, absolutely. It was just real dry in that hot tub. Like, what? It was an oxymoron. Like, come on, man. I need you know who to step up to the plan. I need him to do a little more things. Keep doggone it. I need him to step it up. I need <laughs> Keith to step it up. <laughs> As the sun sets, our singles pick their dates for the evening. Tonight, it is up to the men to decide who they will be going on a romantic poolside painting date with. Keith starts with a surprise choice and acts out Tokyo. Fully shoots his shot with Jamie. Okay, we can make that, we can make that happen. Say no more. 
Look at Naeem. He decides to choose Ashley. Makai goes for Kelsey. That leaves Yaz and Jay together for the evening. It will be my honor, my pleasure, and I would absolutely love if you went on a day with me, Yaz. Let's do it. Things are heating up. Let's see what happens. He really touching her feet like that? This man is doing the most tonight. Do you rub feet on every? Nah, I definitely don't rub feet on. You know, trying something different. I want you to be relaxed. The matchmakers always have eyes on the date. I don't think Foley, I don't think Foley's can do it for Jamie. I think Jamie's gonna smile a lot because she knows she look good. You said paint how I feel about you. This time. Uh uh, on your side. Curious what is being put on this board. <laughs> That's art right now. We're going to let it drill like that. It was an interesting date. Stepped out of my comfort zone because if I saw him on the street, I literally wouldn't look twice. And not just because he's not a good looking guy, just because he's like 5'8 and I'm six foot. <laughs> we should do maybe a flowers in the sky. That would be nice. What, what were you going to say? I was going to actually say we should just do each other. <laughs> <laughs> like, a, like a cheap imitation of each other holding hands or some shit. Oh, uh, okay, that's and cool. Like a sign Outside. But like, ro yes. do you see romance? Do you feel the romance? I don't know. If it just looks like they're going through the motion. Oh my God, he is fine. I can't stand it. I just hope that it's not like me being delusional because a lot of people here are being delusional. <laughs> I feel like my girl Tokyo is being delusional. <laughs> like, I felt like she was being delusional about Keith. Is that Keith that Tokyo's looking at like that? I like you. It's definitely mutual. Mm -hmm. Definitely mutual. So. This right here for me symbolizes heartbreak. Every time I give my all to somebody, you know, it just ends up going left. Yeah. So, how about we mend that broken heart? Huh? Yeah, I feel it. You want to mend that I feel it. Heart? I've been I've been waiting for that type of vibe. Our day went great. I mean, I ain't got no complaints. You know? Me neither. Our painting was dope. dope. We made a, a cross, a heart, and some Wi-Fi connection, because, you know, we just connect. On and, 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 hey, like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because he know when he been me, we tapped here. <laughs> <laughs> You know, when we're dating and we're trying to meet people and learn more about people, we are always trying to look for ways to find out more. You know, we're human. We like to know everything. That's our issue. So that's my thing that I need to work on. Like what, you being saying. human? No, hell no. <laughs> Wait, hold on. You I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try <laughs> me human. I'm gonna try. Hey, let me that's find hard. out. We got an alien on the show. <laughs> I like the communication, though. I will say that. You know, both of them, both couples are communicating really well. Trust me when I say this. You ain't gonna do no chasing when it comes to Keith. You'll be all right. The thing is, I haven't had, like, no real, like, one-on-one -on -one date like this. Like, with me, you were having. I wish I had that with him, like. So, I've been seeing you, you know, with my girl, Ishi. Ashley's cool, you know, I'm still getting to know her, but okay. kind of feeling somebody else also. These two live in the friend zone for me. Everyone in here has eyes on Keith, so you over there smitten like a kitten. Um, how about you? What do you think? I saw what I said. Whatever happens, happens. You just look whatever. Said what? I said I said what I said, whatever happens, happens. She said what she said. <laughs> I'm feeling a little feisty, a little, little spicy energy from over there, and I don't know, I don't know shit out. If he, you know, if he start messing with you, this shit, he was never meant for me. And it's just that simple. I'm a player, I'm a fan. Roommates, looks like all eyes are on Keith tonight. It's time for the men to discuss the secrets found on the ladies today and decide which piece of dirt is a deal breaker. Whoever is linked to that deal breaker will be going home tonight and their match will also be going home with them. Time to reveal the secrets. Start off with number one. Someone likes older men, much older men. Ooh. Yeah. Got a yeah. little dirt too. Someone here cheated on their boyfriend on national TV. Ooh, Ooh. Good grief. But well, fellas, I'm number three. What? <laughs> Someone here was on Wild and Out. Wild and Out, girl? Mm. OK. All right, so for number four, someone here is a sloppy drunk. Whoa. Ooh. Not embarrassing. Mine says, someone here is more interested in women than men. That's, that's negotiable. Mm -hmm. So how are we feeling about this dirt we just got, fellas? Yeah. 
Honestly, I feel like if you would cheat on your boyfriend, yeah, I'm on the world, that's yeah. cheating. But on it's TV, TV you just it's take damn. it. Yeah, cheating is one thing. Cheating on TV, I feel that's like that's insult to injury. That's yeah, yeah, kick right. a dog while he's down. Bro, I think we got right. our decision then. Yeah, Let's bring the ladies on. The ladies joined the men tonight where someone will be going home. All right, let's do it, let's do it. Okay, so ladies, as you know, the fellas received some secrets about you all. So one of you will be going home tonight. But as you also know, the fellas aren't safe either. Nope, you're not. All right, so we all know what time it is. We're gonna open this card and see who the fellas have decided. Wow. OK. Someone here cheated on their boyfriend on national TV. I knew it was going to be me. Uh, would you like to elaborate? So um, that was definitely me. And not my proudest moment, obviously. But I'm a boss ass bitch. You level up, you learn, you grow, you mature. And that's what I did that. And I own it. Thank you. All right, who's your match? Ashley, your ideal match in this house. Was Foley. Oh, oh, you were my match. I'm sorry. Not if you, oh, not if you cheat. Oh, <laughs> I don't even know how that happened. Straight up. Cause that's unacceptable. You meet us at the top of the stairs and we'll go into further detail as to why we matched you. But go ahead and say your goodbyes. Cause exactly no one knows started. Period. No that. Get out, get out with your camera. Get out, get out, get out. I'm we need to talk to her. Um, I don't think she wants to talk right now. Yeah. Get out, camera. Get out. Get out. Get out. I'm sorry, but get out. 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 Sir, 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 okay, I'm not touching nobody, but I'm fed up. That's what we did. Yeah, that don't got nothing to do with me because she cheated. Eek. Roll the camera, stop playing with me. She did that. But you're talking about the bag, you're not talking about the positive qualities. You said you like raw and cut, she's raw and cut. You said you want someone to be open and honest with She ain't raw for this, she was raw, she gonna cheat. I mean, I ain't even get time to politic with her like that. <laughs> <laughs> but I ain't tripping, because I'm a real player. We appreciate your understanding. Yeah, we know that. I came here to rebrand my image, and here I am having to still face it head on. But what upsets me is that when something I've done that I've grown from is brought up to me time and time again. And I don't like to be played with because I'm a boss in her own right. I'm a queen and I know who I am. And I need the respect that I deserve. No, I'm not surprised at how ha Ashley handled this. I know that physically, Fully wasn't her type, but the type of man she was looking for, character inside, he'd be the one to be able to handle that. Upon doing the initial interview with Ashley, she shared to me that she's very sassy and she wants someone who can handle her personality. But women, you are a lot, respectfully. I get it, I'm a lot, but not everybody's gonna be able to handle that sassiness. Yeah, maybe yeah, I'm too confident as a I black take, woman, so take care of my I'm kids. supposed to be with a guy that is, um, has oh, yeah, three yeah, children and Any normally deals with six care women. Of their kids or take care of their daughters, that show you who a man really is. Because as a dark-skinned you know black saying? woman on a reality a show, man, that's what I'm compatible with. And I hold my kids down, even though my but kids. But y'all see nothing. this. Even though my kids don't got I don't nothing to do with no this more. little show. But what I don't like that you cheated publicly. You feel me? Mm -hmm. And that's just my personal. And opinion. what I don't like but is that the truth and that's all you I'm got three about. kids by three different women. Got, I'm good. I'm got, not that girl. Ashley's a queen. I respect her, and I always will. She may not respect me. She may not like the way this ended up, and that's okay. That's all right, queen. But I still commend you, queen to queen, because I see you and I get you. But in this house. That is who I thought would be the greatest match. Guess what? That's I'm still cool. a boss ass bitch before cool. and after it. I don't care what you think about it, and I don't care what the viewers think about it. Next time on Love Locked. It's no drama today. Here comes the Tiger King. 
I'm gonna say what I mean, mean what I say, call it how I see it. It's like I'm Fiona and you're Shrek. I always keep that 100. And if you don't see it, that means because you fake just like them. I, mean, I think this whole ordeal is fake. Mm -hmm. What's happening right now? Yeah. What's the beef? That is really feel like you're troublemaker.